second leg would be there. Maybe. Okay, so I think we should start, right? Thank you for your help. So hello, my name is Michal, and I'm working in, in OpenShift uh, in general. I'm the, he I'm the lead of the engineering here for the Catalyst team. So th th this lightning talk will be about the how about one project that we are uh, doing uh, as part of the research and development. We are currently using OpenShift for to evaluate uh, how how we can use Docker in the OpenShift uh, in the future and stuff like that. I'm not going to contribute to the Docker hype, so I'm, I will not show you the fancy base demos or something like that. I will show you something real that we are working on, and it can be useful for you as well. And also, you, it's an open source project, so you can you know uh, look it, look at it on GitHub, so you can start uh, setting a pull request or whatever. So the project name is Docker Source to Images. Basically, uh, the problem that we are trying to solve is how you can convert your Git repository with your application in the runnable container. Right, so basically you have the, the source of your application and, and you want to produce a container that is, you know, is responsible for running your application. So this is the first thing we want to solve you know, to in, the, in the field of police. So and, and simplify all this process because if you are building a container yourself, you basically need to write a Docker file, then you need to connect inside the container, install your application, uh, configure it, install all the de dependencies that your application has. And if you are really happy on the, in the state of the container, you do a git uh, Docker commit, you know, and you, you like produce basically an image that has your application your inside. So and. We, we in f as part of this, we also want to be sure that we develop uh, a way how to verify the images. So, so, so if you produce an uh, image uh, based on a Fedora, for example, with your application, and then later on you produce an image built on CentOS with the same application, we, we want to be sure that the application works on both. Uh, we also want to support incremental builds. Because uh, we don't want to rebuild the whole container every time you make a git push. You know, we don't basically want to start building the whole container again and again. So we want to make sure that when you push something, uh, we reuse what you already have committed in Docker. So we just basically make a new layer in the Docker image and commit a new version of application. So basically, the git push will result in a container with your application that is packed. You know, something like a, if, if you are if you are familiar with Git, you need a Git pack on something like you think is uh, releasable or, or the, is the desired conversion or something like that. So uh, this project started as a proof of concept and it grows uh, pretty nicely into something that is really usable nowadays. Uh, we have uh, several examples, so I will show you the examples. The readme is not important. Um, so there is a directory called uh, sorry, not this one. Uh, test sources, which is really like a, some something we use for for testing. So we have uh, images. We use the Fedora Boss image right right now, um, which like like simple uh, Docker file. This image is from Matt. I don't know if Matt is here. So so basically have so this is like a part of the Docker image. Uh, the Docker source to images uh, adds to this Docker file all the necessary steps that are uh, you know necessary for creating your application, such as mount a volume, uh, copy the source code there, uh, install all the runtime dependencies your application has, you know, and this is what the, the SDI package do. It's written in Python, so if you're familiar with Python, you know, yeah. Um, so, so, so the basic workflow we use is that we have a prepare and a run command. The prepare run command is a, is a very simple shell script. It's basically in the, in the case of mock, which is a really simple HTML page, just copy the sources from the, the source uh, you know, directory into the uh, directory from where the application will be deployed. If you will have a more complex application, like a Ruby on Rails application where you need to install uh, gems, you need to, I don't know, prepare something, compile or asset or something like that, this all will go to the prepare step. Then um, we have a run step, which basically is executed when the container is started. So if you are familiar with Docker file, this is the last command to run on Docker file. Uh, it's like an entry point or something like that. So when the container is started, this uh, shell script is, you know, Spring Run, 
in the case of this uh, example, it's a simple mock server that bins on the zero, the zero, the zero, the zero address, so all the interfaces, and uh, run the application shards. This is, this, is, this is very nice on Docker. If you bin your application inside container on this IP address, uh, then you can do a port forwarding in the Docker, uh, like in host. So basically you can say you want to route the port 8080 from container to be port 8080 on your host machine, right? So that's why we use this. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, I think that's everything. It was super fast. So I maybe I have, yeah, I have two minutes for questions. So if you have any questions about this, you know, you can ask now. Uh, it, it means that when you uh, when you build your application, it basically can inf like in case of Java, for example, right? The Maven will put the whole universe inside the container. It will take a long time. So in if you if you do a small change in your application, you don't want to run this again because you already have all the dependencies fetched. So this is basically the incremental build that we take what we already have and just add the differences what that we commit. If you in case you don't require rebuilding, you know or you don't add new dependency or something like that. Yeah? Yeah, it's completely uh, distributed tree. In fact, when we started with this project, we used the Ubuntu build stack for deploying the applications and Fedora. So it, it works perfectly. You know, there, is, there is no, you know, you can use whatever Docker image you like as a base, base layer. All you need to do is to is to write the prepare and the run script, nothing else. So the prepare, as I said, is installing all the application dependencies that your application require, and run is how you run the application. Or it can be an HTTP link, you know, nginx, whatever. I'm sorry, you? Yeah, of course. It depends on the distribution you have uh, inside the container. So it could be R Arch Linux, 